Hello, I'm Yi Shuang from HarveyMandarin.com. Welcome to the second lesson in my Reading and Writing Chinese Characters series. In this lesson, we'll learn these characters. I'll give you tips to help you remember each character, show you how to write them, and go over some example words that use these characters. Also, in the description for this video, there's a link to a practice sheet that you can use to practice writing them. OK, let's get started. Our first character is 女, which means female or woman. Please repeat after me. 女, 女. This character comes from a drawing of a woman. You can imagine it representing a woman dancing, getting ready to do a spin. Now let's take a look at how to write the character 女. 女 is written using three strokes. First is a large angled stroke on the left side of the character, then a shorter downward stroke to the left, and finally a large horizontal line. For help with writing this character, please download the practice sheet. Now let's have a look at some example words that use the character 女. First is 女人. The character 女 means female or woman, and 人 means person. Together, they make the word for woman. 女人, 女人 woman. Next is 女儿. In this word, the character 儿 means child, and 女儿 means daughter. 女儿, 女儿 daughter. And finally, we have 女朋友. 朋友 means friend, and 女朋友 means female friend or girlfriend. 女朋友, 女朋友 girlfriend. Our next character is 子, which means son or child. 子, 子. Here you can see the ancient form of this character. It represents a baby swaddled up in a blanket. Now let's take a look at how to write the character 子. This character is written using three strokes. First is a short horizontal line with a big hook that represents the baby's head. Next is a vertical stroke with a hook that represents the baby's body. And finally, a large horizontal line that represents the baby's open arms. Here are some example words that use the character 子. First is 父子. 父 means father and 子 means son. This word can be used to describe a relationship. For example, 他们是父子. They are father and son. Please repeat after me. 父子, 父子, father and son. Next is 儿子. The character 儿 also means son or child, and 儿子 together makes the word son. Note that in this word, 子 is pronounced with the neutral tone. 儿子, 儿子, son. And our last word is 杯子. The character 杯 means cup, and 子, in addition to meaning son or child, is sometimes used as an ending for nouns. For example, 桌子, table, 椅子, chair, and 筷子, chopsticks. In these cases, 子 is pronounced with the neutral tone. Please repeat after me. 杯子, 杯子 cup. Our next character is 好, which means good. 好, 好. This character may look more complicated, but it's really just composed of two characters we've already learned. The characters for woman and child. You can remember this character by thinking of the phrase, it's good to see a woman with her child. 
To write this character correctly, first write the character for a woman, then write the character for a child. Also, if you remember from the last lesson, Chinese characters are generally written so that they all take up the same amount of space. Here, the character components for woman and a child are written more narrowly so that they fit into the space of a single character. Also, the character for woman has a much shorter horizontal stroke. Let's take a closer look. Here is the way woman is written as a standalone character. And here is the way woman is written in the character Hao. Notice that in addition to being written more narrowly, the horizontal stroke is shorter and no longer extends to the right side of the character. Here are some example words that use the character Hao. Hen Hao. The character Hen means very and Hen Hao means very good. Hen Hao. Hen Hao, very good. Hao Chi. The character Chi means to eat and Hao Chi literally means good to eat. In other words, delicious. Note that Hao Chi is only used to describe food that is delicious. Hao Chi. Hao Chi. Delicious. If you want to describe a drink as being delicious, you need to say 好喝. 喝 means to drink, so 好喝 literally means good to drink. 好喝. 好喝. Delicious. And our final character for this lesson is 安, which means safe or peaceful. 安. 安. This character is made of two components. The top of the character represents the roof of a house, and under the roof is a woman. You can remember this character by imagining a woman peacefully meditating in the safety of her home. To write this character, first write the dot at the top. You can imagine that this is the chimney on top of the roof. Then there is a short stroke to the left and a horizontal stroke to the right with a hook that represents the roof of a house. And under the roof is the character component for woman. Note that here the character components are squished a little so that they fit into the space of a single character. Let's have a look at some example words. Wan an. The character wan means night or evening, and wan an means have a peaceful evening or good night. Wan an. Wan an, good night. An quan means safe. The character quan by itself means entire or whole. So, you can think of this as meaning that there is no risk of damage, injury, or loss. In other words, it's safe. Anquan. Anquan, safe. Anjing. The character jing means still, quiet, or calm, and anjing is the word for quiet. You can also say anjing to someone to tell them to be quiet. Anjing. Anjing, quiet. Before ending this lesson, I would like to take some time to thank Christian from the UK, Grigory from Cambodia, Peter from Germany, and Andrena from Italy for supporting my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. If you would like to make a contribution to my YouTube channel, please follow the link at the end of this video. Okay, that's all for this lesson. I hope you found my tips for remembering the characters from this lesson useful. Did you enjoy this lesson? Please click like below and leave me a comment. If you are interested in private Chinese lessons, please visit my website, harbymandarin.com and send me a message. I'll see you guys next time. 再见!